Hello everyone, I'm Suraj Ramesh, Principal Product Manager for Fullstack DR. In this video, we're going to see how we can use Fullstack DR for performing a switchover for a MuShop application. Fullstack DR is a fully managed service within OCI. It helps to orchestrate the disaster recovery runtime operation for the entire application stack with a single click of a button. It provides an automated DR plan based on the members you add the DR protection group, and it has flexibility to customize the group based on the user-defined user requirements. And it provides unified management with a single pane of glass to monitor and validate and run all the DR operations. So for this demo, we are going to use a MuShop application which is deployed in OCI. MuShop is a sample e-commerce website offering a variety of CAT products, and it is a three-tier web application. So we have two regions, Ashburn is our primary and Phoenix is our standby. So from a database perspective, we use autonomous database. So the Ashburn region has the primary autonomous database. And in the standby region, Phoenix, we have the standby autonomous database where autonomous data guard has been used for configuring the standby database. From an application perspective, we run as a two node cluster for hosting the MuShop application. And then in the standby or in the DR region, we don't have any VMs running because this application has been architected to follow the cold VM DR. So the block storage application has been configured for the boot volumes for those two VMs from Ashburn to Phoenix region. Similarly, the object storage replication has been configured for the buckets. Let's see the demo. So I'm going to create the DR protection group so I'm going to use the Ashburn region for creating the DR protection group. So I'm giving a name, MuShop Ashburn, selecting the compartment, selecting the object storage bucket, and then hit create. So this will create the DR protection group in the Ashburn region. Similarly, I'll be creating the DR protection group in the Phoenix region. So provide a name, MuShop iPhone Phoenix, select the compartment, select the object storage bucket, and then create. So now we have created both the DR protection groups in my primary and the standby region. So the next step, we have to do the association so that the full stack DR understand which is primary and which is standby. So hit associate button, select the role. So the primary is the Ashburn region, select the DR region as US Fees Phoenix, and then select the DR protection group, and hit associate. So this will associate Ashburn as primary and then Phoenix as standby. So with this, we have created the DR protection group and then we associated the uh, both DR protection groups. So now the next step would be adding the members. So as part of the architecture, since for the virtual machine, we have the move VM DR. So we will be adding the compute in the primary DR protection group and the production database in the product in the in the primary uh, DR production group and then finally the, the storage volume group for those two compute instances so let's add all those members here so as part of this example I'm showing how we can add an autonomous database similarly I have added all the four members then I'm going to add the necessary members in the standby DRPG since we are following a VM DR architecture I'll be adding only the standby database in the Phoenix DR protection group. So let's select the autonomous database and then select the autonomous database and add the members. So with this, we have added necessary members in both primary DRPG and then the standby DRPG. As a next step, we'll be going to create the switchover plan. So go to the resources section and then select the plans. The point to note is, all the operations related to plans, executions, will be executed only from the standby DR protection group. So that's why if you notice, we do that from the MuShop Phoenix standby DR protection group. Create plan, provide a name, and then select plan type as switchover, and then hit create. Within few minutes, the service will create all the necessary plan groups required based on the type of members which you have added. So since we added the compute instances, database, and the necessary storage group, so we have all the necessary plan group has been created automatically by the service. So these plan groups are generated by the service itself automatically based on the members which are added to the DR protection group.
So the next one thing we have to create the user defined plan groups. So the user defined groups are something completely unique for the application requirement. So as part of this Muse Shop switchover, I am going to create four user defined groups which will be performing various tasks related to my application switchover. So here select the add group uh, in the plan group section and provide the group name and then step name error mode provide all the necessary details which is required for creating the user defined plan group. So for executing the script we have three options you can either select the script which is placed in an object storage or you can invoke a local script place in the compute instance or you can invoke the function. So here I am going to create four user defined groups as I mentioned uh, which will be done in quick in few minutes. So provide all the details and then hit create and then that will create all the necessary user defined plan groups. So if you notice all these four user defined plan groups has been created uh, as per my uh, application requirements. So once this is done, we can actually reorder the groups as per the switchover process requirement. Since the plan groups are created in an order which we have added, but if the application requirements have certain user defined groups has to be created in a specific order, you can move around basically any plan groups according to the requirement. So for my requirement, I'm going to move the remove primary load balancer user defined plan group after the built-in pre-checks so that I'll be able to remove the backend in the load balancer for the primary compute instances. If you notice the plan group has been moved successfully. So the next step would be run pre-checks. So pre-checks are basically we do all the necessary pre-checks which is required for running a successful search over. So it does all the necessary pre-checks for the each plan group uh, based on the provided details. So hit run pre-checks, select the plan execution name and hit run pre-checks. So within few minutes, the pre-checks will be started and it will be completed successfully. So the pre-checks are done now. So with this, the pre-checks has been completed for this switchover plan. So that is the next step. We are going to verify the Mu Shop application running in the Ashburn region. So I've grabbed my load balancer public IP and then I'm using the public IP to verify the application successfully. And then let's say if the disaster happened, let's say some one of the user has created some issues which caused the application to go down. And then when we verify the application, the application is down, right? So this is where your disaster has happened. Now you have decided you have to switch over your application from the Ashman region to Phoenix region. So now we can go back to the standby DR protection group, select the plan, and then execute the plan. So here we are going to transition the Mu Shop application, all the steps which we are there as part of the plan group from the Ashman region to the Phoenix region. Wait for a few minutes. The status will be changed into progress. And based on the plan groups, this, this, the status of the plan will be completed successfully. So with this, we are able to see how quickly we can able to transition an entire application stack from one region to another region with a single click of a button. So once the switchover is done, let's verify the application uh, public load balancer IP and, with, and see whether those application can be accessible from the Phoenix region. So I've grabbed my public IP and then I'm going to execute and then see whether the application is up and running. So now you can see the same application which was running in the Ashburn region has been successfully transitioned into Phoenix region. Thanks for watching.